Among traditional Catholics, I'm quite unique in that I can actually remember my own baptism. This is because I was baptized as an adult at the age of 19 years old and not as not as a baby. Now, admittedly, I was baptized in the uh, Novus Ordo, not traditional right, but I think most people who have, I think it's still probably transferable uh, to any who may be directly converting to traditional Catholicism. I'll say this, when it happened, I very much uh, felt like I was in a dream. So you know how you know you're in a dream, you're dreaming, you kind of know you're dreaming, but it just doesn't feel real. That's very much what it felt like. Um, and I felt very much like my dad is going to kill me, literally, uh, is what I thought, that I wasn't going to live to see Christmas because my dad is very much not a fan of the Catholic Church. I did not tell him. I was going to become a Catholic at that time. Um, thankfully, I lived, as you can see. I later on told him by um, going to a mass and taking communion, going to confession while he watched and take communion while he watched. So I'll be ready to die when he killed me. He didn't. Um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. But it was a very high experience. So I, but I thought I would say a few things about what to expect after baptism as well. So first of all, the same temptations that you deal with before baptism you're going to be dealing with after. There are even commentaries on this. The God takes away sin, an original sin, but the bad habits are not necessarily going to be taken away once you're baptized. They're still there to tempt you to try to see how serious you are about loving God. So my advice to you, if you have any serious bad habits or mortal sins, break them before taking the plunge, is my advice. Or taking the shower, I guess. <laughs> Um, because we do tend, traditional Catholics baptized by effusion and by, by, and by pouring water over the head rather than dunking. I would also say this, that also afterwards I went through a bit of a dry spell after ba baptism. Same thing. Um, my entire life had up to that point had been okay finding what the church God wanted me to do. Uh, and I fulfilled it and that was great. I'm glad I did it. That being said, I wasn't sure what to do with myself the next day. Okay, what do we do the day after? Or the day after that? Or the day after that? I have a long life to fill. And I still went and went through a depression for, for a short time, among for that among many other reasons. So, another perverse piece of practical advice. Again, you can feel free to accept or reject it. I would not get or not get baptized based on this. But my personal advice is have some sort of plan. Or at least try to. Again, not the end of the world. Paul, the Apost Saint Paul the Apostle is not called for years after his conversion. Before he was called, at least um, when he started evangelizing, God knew what his position, what God wanted to do right from the get go. But Paul was not told to start going do doing that until a few years after. I think it was like one to three years, if I recall correctly. Before he was just in basically in retreat. But it is good to at least have a general idea what you want to do to serve God for the next few years, also to avoid sin, because despair, trust me, is a huge temptation to fall into grave sins. Um, so that would be my honest piece of advice for anyone who's thinking of converting to, to traditional Catholicism. Have something lined up. I've seen some catechumens have already started, like, a Instagram accounts to evangelize online. That's a great way. Uh, you can start it dur during your baptism and after, and you can go right into it afterwards. Uh, or something else entirely. It's quite it's quite worth it to have an idea of what you want to do that's realistic, that's doable. Um, just to keep everything stable and keep things under control, temptations under control, and for no other reason other than that. Anyway, God bless. Have a great day. And again, uh, check out SSPX down below. I highly recommend them. They're a good, <coughs> faithful, traditional Catholic group. And if you want to find the early traditional Catholic Orthodox faith, they're the one you want to go to if you want to find the faith of the early church as is taught in the Bible and the church fathers. God bless. Have a great day.